here we have everything modeled and we've got this view, but how do we get this to a point where we can print to a PDF? Go to print instead of using the EPS one, go to the PDF. So this is 11 by 17. Go to properties, modify standard paper sizes, printable area, and then find the ANSI A full bleed. And I'm just going to scroll up here. There's quite a bit of these. Sometimes it takes a little while. So this is the one that we're going to be using, and there's not much here, but there's no reason to have any at all. Go ahead and modify those next. Finish. Okay, and it's going to ask me if I want to save this for other prints, and I do. So now I've got that saved, and now I'm going to hit OK. It's asking me where I want to save it to. I'm going to save it to this PDF file. All right, so let me close this. Go back to Illustrator, and I'm going to open my PDF file. And you'll notice that by printing it to a PDF from a DWG, and make sure that you're using the DWG to PDF, because if you use the printer that's just the Adobe PDF printer, you're going to get the same problem where they try to use a non-EPS printer. That's how you get a drawing from AutoCAD into Illustrator. And then in Illustrator, you can copy and make changes in color and just make the drawing beautiful and then bring it back. You can always use the manipulation in AutoCAD as long as you've got a view saved to come over and use the lines on top of the image that you've changed. You just manipulate the areas of the drawing that need to be changed because the rest of the colors will line up exactly where they used to be in the past. Hopefully that provides some insight on how to create a quick 3D model so that you can create a 3D view and then be able to take that 3D view into Illustrator and color up that drawing to make it look the way you want it to.